Hello and welcome to another video. Well it's finally arrived, the Fun Cube Dongle Pro Plus, which I've been waiting a couple of weeks for because I think the eBay seller I bought it off of was, was out of stock so we had to get some more. Um, but anyway, it's finally arrived today and let's have a look inside as we unbox it. Right, well, all that's come with it is this, is just, oh, just, just an invoice and the only other thing that's come with it is is this. It's inside this case. Thank you, Dongle uh, Pro Plus Serial 14059, and where the documentation and everything is online. And here it is. Um, USB on one end and an SMA connector on the other end. Fortunately, this was my other software-defined radio. Which doubles it's a scanner and a software defined radio, but I never found it particularly that brilliant. Maybe just the way I had it set up, but we'll see if we can do any more with this. And I've got this is an SMA connector, and this will, this will connect to it, and then I'll plug it into here. In fact, right, well, it's plugged in, the antenna's plugged in, and the um, antenna I've got I might show in a minute, I might go outside and just film it, but switch it over to that. On, to, on my antenna switch. As you can see, I've got various radios here, another scanner, the HF, UHF, um, a Waxon 2 meter handheld, and my FT2000. Um, but I'm really interested in software defined radio, so I wanna see, I wanna see what, we, what we can do with this. Apparently you can do, um, well, obviously receive everything, as you normally could, but also um, you can decode weather satellites and, or, and all that sort of thing too. So, let's uh, bring up some software. Well, it's working on um, SDR Sharp. This is 97.3, a London station, which is um, about 40 odd miles miles away from me. Um, if we click on, it's in mono. The, the quality is very, very good. So it's going to be phoning in. So, but if we um, change it to FM stereo, we should hear the hiss. She did seem to rally. Yeah. There you go, that was more local stations so that hiss would go. Happy to just keep her there, but then she went downhill again. The antibiotics. Here's some 2 meter USB, SSB, which uh, I don't think I've ever actually tuned into before because my scanners not, uh, haven't got the USB function on them. But obviously, this SDR does, because obviously, the uh, dream of, S of, of SDR, the ultimate, is just plug an arrow into an analog to digital converter. And then the software sorts everything, it receives everything and it just filters out what it doesn't want. Um, and there's all sorts of filters on there, look, let's, let's go down with this filter and see what happens. That's, now it's tuned slightly, but... Right. There's my uh, VHF uh, UHF aerial. Um, there is one of the things at the bottom that comes out of it missing, so it's probably not as effective as it should be. It's only a cheap one. And I'll just zoom in past my uh, my Matt Rice satellite dish, so you can see. That's what I've been using on, on that radio so far. However, I have also my FT2000 plugged in, and I can plug it into the dongle too. My HF half size. G5RV if you can see it. It's not very high though, it just goes up to the chimney, I don't even know if you can see it there, and it goes up into that tree. It sort of coils each end of it, but we don't know if they're, they're rubbish or, or not really. But it's been okay, but it does need to go a lot, lot higher in order for it to be effective. And that will be one of my next missions. Right, here we are on the six meter band, 50 megahertz. Um, I just want to compare this to what, to what it's like on the scanner. So that's the audio. Turn it up. Now let's switch up to the scanner and switch it into scanning all the amateur stuff now. And let's turn it down here. We've got the same antenna, of course, the antenna switch there. Um, that's better. Yeah, so yep. it's about the same, maybe slightly better on the scanner, on the analog scanner, but uh, maybe some improvements I can make on the uh, uh, 
on on this to uh, to you know make the audio or the filters and everything set up so the audio is as good as it is on the scanner. But anyway, we we will see. And here's a funky dumble on with HD SDR um, on a two meter repeater local one. Very good quality sound. Um, and um, it's work, working really well. Oh yeah, I had to, I had to download the driver for this, um, but it makes it work with it really well. And his other, let's look at these other signals. What oh, that is. I think. Quiet, but nothing. Down to tune it. So, yeah, all in all, I think it's well worth the money. I'll have to, um, have to test it on SSB as well. Well, after a couple of days of using, I'm well happy with the thank you dongle. It compares favourably with, with, with my scanner uh, that, that I've got here. Um, and as you can, and I, I'm using, I've decided to settle on the HD SDR software. Um, I programmed some frequencies into the into the side here. You know, airband utilities, um, and amateur uh, amateur repeaters, and so on, and also US to emit USB calling. This station now is a two meter USB station and you can see some signals there on the USB band. There's a bit of a lift on this morning so obviously everybody's trying to get some DX I believe. But anyway, um, yeah I'm happy with it. The only drawback is the bandwidth right across isn't fantastic. I think it's, been, it's better on my link code but this certainly is better, better reception and so on. So anyway, um, that's it really and uh, speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.